Kelsey here. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do my at-home gel manicure. I've been doing this about once or twice a month and I've actually been loving it and I've become pretty good at it, but I'm not a professional, so don't judge me too much. Um, so the first thing that I do is get my drill. This is by the brand Melody Susie and it's from Amazon. And the first thing that I like to do is make sure I have a fresh tip so that I can get a nice smooth drill. These are my nails before. They had grown out a lot. I think they're about three weeks old. They look a hot mess. So I like to go in and just drill off that top coat first. Sometimes I'll just drill my nails all the way down and I won't soak them off, but it's better to soak your nails off because drilling them all the way down can be kind of harsh on your nail beds. So today I decided to soak them off. So I had cracked one of my nails and I knew it was gonna break so I just went ahead and cut it off because if it broke by itself, I was gonna have blood everywhere. So I was kinda sad to cut this nail off because every time I have to put a fake nail on, I get sad because growing your nails out kinda takes a long time, especially to this length. So now I'm just gonna take these nail clamps. I'm sure you guys have seen these at the nail salon for when they soak off your gel manicure or if you get SNS or whatever you get. So I'm just taking some acetone and some cotton balls and make sure you stretch out the cotton ball before you put it on your nail so that it's flat on your nail. And I like to soak it pretty good and then I just put the cotton ball on my nail and then put the clamp over top of that and make sure you squeeze it pretty tight so that the nail saturates really well in the acetone. So um, it got kind of complicated once I got to my other hand but the first hand is pretty easy to do. So just take your time when you're doing this on yourself because if you're not an ambidextrous which I'm not, Kendra is, um, it can get kind of tricky. Um, but yeah, just take your time. And I usually like to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Sometimes if you let it sit longer, it'll be even less gel polish that you have to drill off. But 10 minutes was good enough for me. So that's how long I let these sit. So after the 10 minutes is up, as you can see, my nails have already started to soften and the gel is a lot easier to drill off now. So now I'll just go ahead and drill the polish that I had on before all the way down. So now I'm just gonna replace the broken nails and I ended up breaking two nails actually, my middle finger and my ring finger. Um, so I like to just take this set of fake nails and just match the nail to my real nail. You guys have done this before. Well, seen it get done at the nail salon. So I apply a good amount of glue. I try not to put too much on, but I try to put enough as well. So I like to put the nail in the middle of my real nail when I'm placing on the fake nail, just because when I put it at the very end, it breaks off faster. So this is just easier for me to do. Um, by the way, this set of fake nails are from Amazon as well. It comes with the, the cutter, the little cutter thing you guys see over there to the left. And it comes with some small nail files as well, as well as the glue. So I'll have everything linked in the description box. So here I'm just trying to make sure I get the nails as even as possible to the opposite hand. Even though I go a tad bit shorter than the other hand, just because I feel like when I do it too long the first time I replace my nail, it breaks off, so I go a little bit shorter. So 
So next I just take my nail file. This is from Sally's. I love these really big rough ones to do my shape. They're amazing. Once again, I get them from Sally's. And I do almond shape. I've been doing the almond shape for the past like eight months. I don't know, I really have been liking the shape this past year just because it's really classic. Even though it's kind of hard to do, like they make it look way easier at the nail salon. But yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Just, you know, cleaning up my shape from when my nails grew out. And this is how I originally did the shape because my natural nails are square. I just take some clippers and cut off the corners. That's just the easiest way for me to start this shape off. So just cut off the corners of the nail and then that's when you go in with the nail file on the very edge and kind of file at an angle and upward motion. So that's the best way I can describe it. I kept getting out of frame because I was trying to focus. Okay, so now that I've got my shape done, I'm just going to replace the tip of my drill again so that I have a nice smooth file. And I'm going to get ready to drill down the fake nails that I had to replace so that they blend in seamlessly with my real nail because if you just leave it like this and paint over it, you're gonna have like a hump in your nail and it's not gonna look natural, so yeah. So this is when I just go in and drill down the fake nail and blend it in with my real nail. And if you don't really know how you can tell if it's drilled down enough, you can just kind of feel it like I just did with my finger to make sure it's nice and smooth. So next I just like to buff my nails with the rough side and then I like to go in with the smooth side on each nail and buffing them just makes a big difference. By the way, my buffer is busted. This thing is so old. It's actually shedding those little black, you know, shreds that you see on the towel. That's from my buffer. But it's a really good buffer. I got it from Walmart years ago. Um, so this is very, very important step before you go in and paint. So next I just go ahead and grab my UV light, which we've mentioned in many videos, as well as this base and top coat from the Beatles brand. And first, of course, I'm gonna go in with the base coat. So if I want more of a natural look, I like to use these Born Pretty color coats. These are like gel polishes as well. They're very, very good. I'm starting with the color Flower Wedding and I'm almost out of this, I need to get more. So that's the color I like to usually go in with first. It's this really pretty dark sheer pink color, kind of like your nails but better. And this color is super natural, but you can build it up if you want it to be more opaque. But I like to only do about two coats of this color before I go in with the next color. Or sometimes I'll just do this color by itself. You can basically customize the color to what you like. Um, so after each time, of course, you want to put your hand under the UV light before you go in with the next color, of course. So as you can see, it already made a difference and that was just one coat. So I was just trying to show you guys the subtle difference that this color makes. So the next color that I'm gonna take from the exact brand, Born Pretty, is the color Caged Bird. And this is a nude pink color. So this is a little bit lighter, a little less sheer. It's a little bit more opaque. So I like to put this over top of Flower Wedding. It just adds a more seamless look to the nail if I want it to look a little bit more opaque. 
and I did about two coats of this color. Sometimes I'll do one depending on the look I'm going for, but today I did two. So next I'm just gonna go in with the Beatles Top It Off Top Coat. And this top coat is pretty thick, so you want to start out with less. And if you feel like you need a little bit more, then you can go back into the bottle. Because like I said, it is pretty thick. So I usually put my nails in the UV light about two times at the very end and then I'll go in and put on some cuticle oil. This is the Milk and Honey cuticle oil that we got from Amazon last year and it's still pretty much full. This stuff is gonna last us forever. So my cuticles were extremely dry from the acetone that I soaked my nails in earlier. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not that simple, but after you do it a few times, you get the hang of it. I'll link all the products that I use in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will actually see you guys with Kendra in our next video.